We're going to use uh, Dropbox as a way to upload podcasts and insert them, embed them, that is, on uh, a Google Sites web page. So here's how we do that. Uh, we're logged in on this screen to two things in two different browser windows. That's the way I like to work. Perhaps you can do it with tabs. Um, here we're on the uh, edit screen. You can see the edit tools of uh, our Google site. And over on this screen, we're logged into Dropbox. And I'm using uh, Kim Kill's stuff here to do that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to upload a new file to the Dropbox public folder. Here's how that goes. Um, we're logged into Dropbox. We're going to go Upload. And it's going to let us choose a file. From there, I'm going to go to my travel drive, because that's where I've uh, copied the student's um, podcast. I'm going to choose the file I want, click Open, and I'm going to start the upload. And if the internet's working well, it'll upload pretty quickly. There it goes. And we've added that one. And uh, that was Quinesha, so I should see her name in the list here. Right there it is. Now I know I've got it in Dropbox. <coughs> Dropbox allows us to get a public URL, that is a location on the internet that anybody can uh, come to. And so I'm going to go to copy that public link, which I found by going to the end of the uh, file name, little drop down arrow, and copy public link. Opens up a new little window, and I'm going to choose that copy to clipboard command. So now I've got the location of Quinesha's story in mind. Then I'm jumping back over to my Google site, and I have to insert a gadget that will run the podcast. So up on the Edit Tools, far left, we're going to use Insert. We're going to go down to More Gadgets. Again, we're hoping that the Internet's going to go along with us, and it's doing OK. And we're going to search for a gadget here. And you need quotation marks around Google Audio Player. Without the quotation marks, you'll be searching all day. With the quotation marks, we should just get two results that come up. And we're going to choose the bottom one, Google Audio Player. Looks like this. And we're going to choose Select underneath there. When it opens, it's asking on the top line for the file. Where is the file? And that's what we just copied from the Dropbox uh, public link folder. So I'm going to double click in here. And I'm going to go Control-V to paste it in. And there's Quinesha's story location. Uh, down below, we're going to leave the width and height all the same. On the checkbox that says Display Title on Gadget, I'm going to put the name of this file. In this case, it's going to be Quinesha G. And then I'm going to say OK to that. And it pops right in here in the Edit uh, screen as a Google Gadget. I'm going to click Save. And then I'm going to try it out. There's Quinesha G. We just added that one to the list. And we're going to watch it run. And there it is. Looks like it's going to be OK. And uh, again, quite a few steps to that, but it works.